How's it going? I'm Tom Henry with Mainline Overland. Today we're going to take a look at Dometic products. We have a Dometic 75 uh, liter DZW fridge, dual zone wireless. This is the special edition fridge. And we also have a Dometic PLB40. This is their new lithium iron phosphate lipo uh, battery. So this, uh, this gives you DC to DC charging capability. And when coupled with the fridge, we can make this fridge last a nice long time with this DC um, setup. Um, so first, this is a dual zone fridge, so it has two temperature control zones. We've got the compressor side here, and then we have the larger uh, partition side there. We've got these guys set up um, uh, down to a nice chill level. We've got one set to five, one set to ten. Um, you can get these down really low, all the way down to negative eight, which is great. Um, right now we have this set up in DC mode. Um, so when you buy one of these fridges, you're going to get both an AC charging unit uh, which is this guy here, which we had plugged in earlier to get it down to temperature. And then we have a DC unit. So this is the DC plug-in port here. And it, as you can see, this is plugged into our PLB40 now. Um, so important note about these Dometic uh, units is that they have two different um, plug configurations. You've got the regular DC, which is like your car, um, your car uh, 12 volt uh, plug-in. Then you have this two pin right here and I'll pull this out so you can see it. So this is the two pin configuration. It has the little uh, detent here um, so that you can plug it in and line up, the, uh, line up the cords properly. But basically this attaches into this one to create the normal DC. And then you've got your two pin or your regular DC. So we're gonna run this in the two pin mode. I'm gonna just turn this so I can see it. So the two pin mode allows you to have the fridge specifically plugged into the plugged into the PLB while allowing you to have the 12 volt for any other uh, uh, use you want to have if you have another 12 volt plug-in set up for an inverter or something else um, that's where that could go um, so it's very nice that you have that use and you also have USB ports in here as well so you can plug in your phones so it really gives you a multiple ways of plugging in and getting things charged up um, so on the input side this is the other side of the PLB it's got several different input arrays here. Um, it has an AC input, and inside the PLB box here, you'll have one of these. It's, a, uh, it's got a ballast there with, a, with an AC two-prong plug. And then it has this guy there. So that would plug in to AC power. And if you're plugged in to AC, you will get a readout on the battery that shows that you're getting AC uh, input. So you can see the arrow going into the battery and then going back out. And that output is showing that 90% that you're getting on the PLB there. So I'm gonna unplug that so we're running just straight DC to DC mode. So we're back in DC mode. You can see on here, there's just the arrow going um, to the output because it's going out to the fridge. Um, and you can see that it's even noting the two pin is what we're using. So that's that centerpiece there. So if I wanted to plug this in um, to my vehicle, let's say I'm driving along in the car I want to charge this guy up or keep it topped off while I have it plugged into the fridge. Um, the Meg is going to give you this guy. So it is a DC 12 volt power port, um, which would go into your vehicle. And then it gives you an Anderson. This is a black Anderson. You can see it has this, uh, this, this ridge in the center here, um, showing that you know, only certain Anderson plugs can go into this. You can see it matches up with that one. So we just plug it right in there. And then if I was going to plug it into my truck or something like that, um, you'd use this guy to plug into the vehicle. Um, uh, so basically that's the way that if you're running down the road, if you're, if you're going from place to place, or if you have a, a camper or something like that and you have 12 volt um, sockets, you can use that to keep this guy topped off while the vehicle's running with that excess alternator charge. Um, and then when you're sitting, you can be running straight DC mode on the fridge, no noise, no need to turn on the vehicle. Um, it's a great setup to be able to do that. Um, this is a 40 amp hour battery, um, uh, 500 watt hours. Um, they, uh, they, they did their testing based off the CFX50 from what we've been talking about with Dometic. Um, and on an empty CFX50 fridge, we were at the Great American Outdoor Show. And we ran that fridge for about 40 plus hours um, straight just on this unit. Uh, before it lost, before basically it got down to me, maybe 6% and it, it, it did a low, uh, low voltage cutoff. 
Um, so that gives you a lot of charging capacity. And if you have a fridge that's full of cans and food and all kinds of things like that, you're gonna get even more life out of that because the cold uh, beverages and things inside that fridge are going to allow it to stay colder and it's not gonna cycle as often with the compressor. Um, the Dometics already use their own compressor technology. Um, these special edition fridges have an, have an even more efficient compressor than the standard Dometic CFX line. Um, so they're doing a really good job of helping to meet uh, efficient, efficient power consumption on the, on the uh, output side with, uh, with uh, you know, things like this PLV40, which give you some DC powering on the uh, input side. So, and of course, this can also plug into solar. Um, we're going to do another demo later on where we show how, how you can plug up, up to a 120 watt um, solar panel into this port. So you have direct charging with this as the charge controller, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty simple. Um, so, so just give, to wrap up, we have, uh, we have a fridge, we've got the, the PLV40, and we have uh, some great like noiseless uh, mobile, uh, mobile charging uh, ahead of us uh, for a weekend trip. So. Um, Check them out on our website at mainlineoverland.com. Uh, this is the 75DZW uh, Special Edition SE. You can see the Special Edition uh, Limited Edition plaque on there. And then the Dometic PLB40, which is their new portable uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So check it out at mainlineoverland.com.